Anna, what is the coolest music video of all time? Okay, go. Yeah, that one's okay. I don't know if that's true. I didn't I didn't give it a lot of thought. <laughs> I'm Hannah Kaiser and this is the bandwagon. <laughs> Last week, we did what amounts to a throwback episode, and I subverted the entire premise of this franchise by bandwagoning my hometown team. <gasps> and the Phillies will still hang around in the wild card race, but after giving up 19 runs to the Marlins, Ooh, on Friday, I decided to not wait for the playoffs, and I just went home to get myself some scrapple this past weekend. With just a month left in the regular season, it is time to cut the bullshit and shamelessly root for a team that is just better than all the rest. Which is why, this week, I'm bandwagoning the Dodgers! <laughs> what exactly are the Dodgers good at, you may ask? What are they good at? <laughs> well, they have both scored more runs and given up fewer runs than any other team in the National League. They have a front runner for both MVP and the Cy Young Award. They have the largest division lead and the best record in all of baseball. Over the weekend, the Dodgers played the Yankees, yep. and manager Dave Roberts couldn't help himself from talking about when we might see this exact matchup next. It's two very good ball clubs, very talented. There's a lot of talent um, all over the field. I think I try to do a good job of not getting too far ahead about talking about a World Series, but uh, you know, with respect to the fans and media, it would be it'd be incredible. The Dodgers have been so good this decade that anything short of a big ass ring would be a disappointment. And if you're in it for the glory, that's a bandwagon that I have to recommend that you hop on. The whole reason to root for the Dodgers is just that they are so damn good at winning baseball games, and we obviously don't have time to consider each of their dozens of wins this year. But as a quick little emotional primer on how the Dodgers season has gone thus far, check out the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back walk offs in three straight games at the end of July, all of which were won on home runs by rookies. The 1-0 pitch. Beatty drives the ball to center field and deep. At the wall, it's gone! Over Dugo, swings away, fly ball right field. Different night, same story for a rookie Dodger. Fly ball center field, carrying pretty well. Hampson back, at the wall, would you believe it? Those were great. Wow, great home runs. Ah. And no one inspires more existential dread with his precocious brilliance than Cody Bellinger, the barely 24-year-old two-time All-Star who hits home runs like this, and robs home runs like that. And that was just in the span of a single game. As of taping this episode, Bellinger is tied for the major league lead in home runs with Mike Trout, who I feel like we have established pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. So as Bellinger demonstrated this year, a Troutonian ability combined with just a touch of joy de vivre inspires fans to hurl themselves onto the field without concern for legal ramifications in a desperate effort to hug him. After this happened a couple times, Bellinger tried to dissuade copycats by insisting that his hugs aren't even that good. But are you buying that from a guy who ranks in the top five this season for OPS, war, WOBA, and defensive runs saved? No. I didn't think so. Hugs. From hugs to kisses, just wanted to give a quick shout out to Kike Hernandez for pulling off the perfect troll by homering immediately after some fans were taunting him in the on-deck circle and then chef kissing into their faces on his way back to the dugout. You might as well start calling the dominant Dodger Southpaw with the 2.00 ERA, who isn't Clayton Kershaw, Sai Hyunjin Ryu at this point. You can use that, headline writers. Hello. More importantly, he is living my most aspirational life. Ryu doesn't throw a bullpen in between his starts. His pregame ritual involves sitting quietly in the grass, uh, and he is a prolific commercial spokesman in his native South Korea. In other words, he doesn't think about work when he's off the clock, he's more chill immediately before pitching in a Major League Baseball game than I am even during REM sleep cycles, and he gets paid presumably millions of dollars to slurp noodles into his face hole while making yummy noises. So why haven't we bandwagoned the Dodgers yet this year? Uh, well, they didn't open the season with a cat guy on their team, as far as I know. Um, but their ridiculous division lead has afforded the Dodgers the chance to play around with some potential postseason pieces, including the call-up of Tony Gonsolin, who comes out to the song Cat Daddy, celebrates his three cats prolifically on social media, and wears delightfully tacky cat t-shirts every single Saturday. Root for the Dodgers! Because just statistically speaking, if they make it to the World Series enough times, at some point they've got to win it, right? He's in a lot of commercials. He's eating a lot of food. I love those commercials. Yeah? Uh-huh. I'm a fan. Oh, 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 what else are you a fan? Oh, let's find out! Squirrels! Why? <laughs> I'm not a fan of squirrels. Here's the thing. Two days in a row, a squirrel ran onto the field at, I don't know which game, and the broadcasters assumed it was the same squirrel. They were like, he's back. 
Well, I was like, you're saying all squirrels look the same to you? Yeah, right. uh, <laughs> but he did have the same energy, so maybe. That squirrel, pretty cute. Um, in general, squirrels, not bad. <laughs> the players' weekend uniforms were all black and all white, and they looked like they were wearing their jammies. And I wish that I had a contrarian take because nobody liked these. I really wanted to try to talk myself into them, but here's the thing. Whoever designed these consciously made the choice that it would be white on white writing and that like black on black logos and you can't see it. You can't see it. No. Not a fan. Gas station sex pills. <laughs> not personally a fan. Yeah. All right. So MLB had to put out a statement. They, they sent a, like a memo to the minors and the majors saying, please be aware that if you are taking gas station dick pills for your dick problems, they um, may also be making you better at baseball and we are going to need you to stop doing it for that reason. But, but they did, they did, they did like a little parenthetical and they were like, um, if you have a doctor's note telling you to fix your dick, you can take Viagra. And <laughs> yeah. that's the verbiage. My question is, is the PED-like effect incidental, or are they specifically taking it because it has oh, a sort of no PED-like no, no effect? So here's my thing. To have more than the average amount of sex, I assume that an athlete has to have the correct combination of fame and free time. And baseball players are probably on the lower end for all of them. I'm talking like football players, very famous and only busy once a week. Baseball players, you don't know what like Jock Peterson looks like and he's busy every goddamn day. So he's gotta have time to explain to someone that he plays for the Dodgers, and that he's a famous baseball player, and that he has an off day three and a half weeks from now in Kansas City. He will see you there. So I don't know why they need these. Not a fan, yeah. no, don't do that. That sounds bad. Go to your, see your doctor. Home run promises. Aaron Judge promised a little old man that he would have homework for him, and he did uh... If that works, they would be paying the old men to be there, like. <laughs> Not a fan. Yeah. New Taylor Swift. Uh, okay, so Taylor Swift has a new album. Invariably, when Taylor Swift puts out new music, I listen to it and I think, this is not as good as the old music. And then, what happened with this one was, I listened to the title track, I listened to Lover first, and I was like, this is bad. And then I went and listened to the whole album and it was going through the album, and it got to love her and I'm like, this is my jam, I love this song. And it's like, what? I don't know what it, it's like, there's MSG in the music. So you hear it the first time, you're like, this isn't good. And then as soon as you encounter it in the wild, your brain loves that it recognizes it. And it's like so easy to memorize that you're like, shit, I'm singing along, this must be my song. But no, not a fan. Yeah. Reputation was great though. I went to the Reputation tour. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. So don't take, don't, don't come at me, Taylor Swift fans. All right, we ready for a proposal? I think so. Over the weekend, star Colts quarterback Andrew Luck retired abruptly, citing the pain, exhaustion, and mental toll of a career in sports. Uh, in football, that's because the game is so violent, but baseball takes a toll because the game is such a grind. At this point in the season, no one is playing at 100%, not after four months of foul balls off the shin or belly flop diving catches or face first slides on the dirt or just being really physical for hours on end every day, even more often than you or I sit at a desk. And as far as I can tell, no one is complaining, at least not publicly about the length of the baseball season. And personally, I sort of love the omnipresence in the dog days and the way it's always on to watch if you want to. But lately, I've been feeling a little bit guilty for the level of pain management that we implicitly demand of professional athletes because the medical technology exists and because we expect the game to always be getting bigger, faster, stronger. I'm not sure that guys should be relying so much on cortisone shots and cupping treatments, ice baths and Advil and anything stronger, whether that's surgery or self-medication. Look, I don't like the logical conclusion of this either, but the truth is that there's probably too much baseball. And the only way to solve that is to make the season shorter. I'm sorry. Yeah, less games. Fewer, fewer games. What do we like today? The Dodgers? Yeah. I don't like the Dodgers. Here's the thing. Whoa. I really don't. Whoa. I like what we do. Shyamalan twist. <laughs> you should root for the Dodgers. They're really, really good. They are, they're going to clinch probably before September, which means that they probably won't be fun to watch in September because they're just going to be resting. Everybody. Uh, Taylor Swift released a new album, I Hate It Now, by the time this episode airs, I'm sure I'll love it. The MLB warned players to stop taking off-brand dick pills and recommended that they instead take name brand dick. Ooh, shit, does Viagra advertise on MLB? It does! This is a conspiracy! Not a fan of squirrels. And if the baseball season were shorter, we would be done by now.